Hi, and welcome to this installation guide of Comfy UI. Every now and then, you might find yourself having to reinstall Comfy UI. Lately, my test environment of Comfy UI has been a bit wonky, so I've decided to do a clean installation of it. This video will show you every step of the way, from installing to downgrading PyTorch, installing Triton and Sage Attention, as well as a mishap with Xformers, and how to solve that. Since this is my test environment, I don't actually have any models in this folder. All models are in my main Comfy UI folder, and I'm using system links to access them from my test environment. That means that I can just delete the whole Comfy UI folder. If you are reinstalling a Comfy UI where you have your models located, I would suggest that you move them elsewhere during the installation so you don't have to re-download them all later. Just move the entire model folder to somewhere safe. Most of the time, installing Comfy UI is pretty straightforward and doesn't cause too much headache. We will be installing the portable version here today. There is a web app version as well, but I've tried it and I didn't like it. First, you need to go to github.com slash comfyanonymous slash comfy UI. And once there, scroll down a bit until you get to the part that says Windows Portable. Click on the direct link to download in order to download a compressed folder containing everything you need. The file is a bit over one gigabyte. Once the file is downloaded, open it and select everything inside. Then drag all of it to an empty folder where you want your installation to be located. When you have moved all the files to the new folder, the installation is basically done. You now have the bare minimum of what you need to get started. We start Comfy UI by running one of the startup.bat files. Which one you need to use depends on your system. But don't worry, nothing will break if you pick the wrong one. If that happens, just simply close the command window and pick another startup. As you can see in the command window, the installation comes with Torch 2.9 for CUDA 13.0 pre-installed. I don't want this version because it's very new and the newest Torch and CUDA often causes dependency issues. So I'm going to downgrade to a previous version that I know is stable and works well with my system. As Comfy UI startup, you can see I get a lot of warnings for missing nodes. This is nothing that should bother you. It's simply because it's loading a workflow I was working on earlier. And since this is a new installation, I don't have any custom nodes at all installed. Like I said earlier, I don't want to use PyTorch 2.9. While it might work well with everything I want to use, it also might not work, so I'd rather pick a version I know will work. Go to pytorch.org and navigate to previous version. Scroll down to PyTorch 2.8.0 and pick the one that corresponds with your CUDA version. To downgrade PyTorch, navigate to your Comfy UI installation folder and open a command window there. In the command window, you must first uninstall your current Torch version and you do that by using the following command, python underscore embedded slash python dot exe dash mpip, uninstall torch, torch vision, torch audio. When you are done uninstalling your old version, copy the correct version from pytorch.org. If you copy the full code, it's important to remember to put python embedded slash python dot exe dash m in front of the code you copied to ensure that PyTorch gets installed in the correct Python. Downloading and installing the new PyTorch can take a while, so we'll fast forward that process. When the installation of the new PyTorch is done, you can see that we got a red warning telling us that protobuf is required, but not installed. This is easily fixed by installing it the same way we installed PyTorch, using the command python underscore embedded slash python dot exe dash m pip install protobuf. The yellow warning is telling us that some folders that normally is set to path is not set. This is not only normal, this is exactly how it should be. We are using a separate Python for Comfy UI and don't want any of it set to path 
making other Python installations use libraries from here. For this next step, we are going to install Triton and Sage Attention in that order. You can find a written guide for this by visiting zano.se and search for Triton in the search bar. Since our PyTorch version is higher than 2.7, we will use the first option for installing Triton. Again, we are using the command python embedded python.exe mpip install u triton windows 3.3. Next, we are installing Sage Attention, and if you are reading my text guide, you can just scroll down a little bit to find the instructions. To install the correct version of Sage Attention, we use the following command, python underscore embedded slash python dot exe dash mpip install Sage Attention equals equals 1.0.6. When we restart ComfyUI, we can see that there's no error messages, so everything seems to be working as intended. We do still get some error messages for missing nodes though, and we'll get to that soon. But first, I want to link this new installation to the models I have in my main Comfy UI. I will do this by using system links. System links means that the model folder in my new installation will point to the model folder in my main installation, preventing me from having a double set of models. You can Google on system links for the correct commands if this is something you want to do on your system. To test the installation, we will use one of the templates that comes with Comfy UI. Let's pick the Quen model for this test. And here we get another error, saying that I don't have the models required. I have the models, but they are in a sim link that Comfy UI might not recognize. You can download models this way though, if you wish. I will find my models in the list despite the errors. Let's generate a test image using the default settings. There we have it, a beautiful Hong Kong by night inspired image. To make your life a little easier, you'd want to install Comfy UI Manager. Navigate to your Custom Nodes folder located in Comfy UI slash Custom Nodes and open a command window. In the command window, use the command git clone https colon slash slash github dot com slash Comfy Org slash Comfy UI Manager. In the same command window, use the command cd comfy ui manager. The next command you need to use is the following double slash, double slash, double slash, python underscore embedded slash python dot exe dash m pip install dash r requirements dot txt. Or path to your Python folder slash python dot exe dash n pip install dash r requirements dot txt. This will install the Comfy UI manager, and once it's done installing, you need to restart Comfy UI. When you have restarted, you can see the manager button in your Comfy UI. If you open it and click on Custom Node Manager, you can search the custom nodes database and install the nodes you want. For example, the Creepy Bits nodes and the World Weaver nodes. For the next part, we are going to install Xformers. So we head over to Xformers on GitHub to get the installation command. Since we are using QTA 12.8, you can copy the code from the GitHub. Just make sure to start with python embedded slash python dot exe dash m. And here's where I notice a mistake I made. By installing the latest version of Xformers, I also got an auto upgrade of PyTorch to the 2.9 version. And now it's incompatible with the Torch Audio and Torch Vision version we have installed. But no panic, this is an easy fix. We uninstall Xformers as well as the Torch, Torch Audio and Torch Vision using the command python embedded slash python dot exe dash m pip uninstall xformers torch torch audio torch vision then we reinstall the correct version of pytorch using the same command as we used when we installed it earlier and this time it will install a lot faster as we have the correct version cached already 
and this time it will install a lot faster as we have the correct version cached already. The correct Xformers version for our setup is named 0.0.32 post 1 and to install it we have to run the command python underscore embedded slash python dot exe dash mpip install xformers equals equals 0.0.32 post 1. The installation completed without any errors this time. And now we can fire up Comfy UI and use our fantasy to the max. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you want more videos like this, or if you have any other requests or suggestions for videos, subscribe to the channel and leave a comment.